Welcome to the channel Ecoholics. Today we can learn something about utility analysis. Now, what does utility mean? The term utility means the want satisfying power. Want satisfying power of a commodity, of course. Now, in the previous video we learnt about want, want or the unlimited wants that humans have. Now there is something known as utility which means that there is want satisfying power in a particular commodity. Now what exactly does that mean? So explaining this in detail let's consider something known as Cardinal concept and ordinal concept. Now, cardinal concept was given by an economist known as Alfred Marshall, and ordinal concept was given by J.R. Hicks and G.R.D. G.R.D. Allen. These two fundamental concepts or very very highly important concepts of utility analysis have been given in economics. You, in utility analysis what is cardinal concept mean? Cardinal means that utility, utility which is the want satisfying power, this is measurable. In the terms of money, in the terms of units. So Alfred Marshall suggested that utility is such a concept which can be basically measured or which is quantifiable. Now let's take an example to understand this concept. For example, you went to purchase an ice cream. Now you it's summer and it's really hot and that's why you think of purchasing an ice cream. So the utility or the satisfaction that you derive from that particular commodity which is an ice cream will be very high and so you would say hypothetically in the terms of cardinal concept after having that one bite of ice cream that my utility or my satisfaction is 100 out of 100 which means that basically you are creating a measurable quantity or a measurable unit for the satisfaction that you have got by eating one bite of that ice cream. Alright, so utility is the amount of satisfaction or the want satisfying power that you have got by purchasing and by eating that ice cream on a very hot and sunny day. And what is the measure of that satisfaction? You said that after, a, after eating one bite of ice cream, you said that my satisfaction level is 100% or it is 100. So, or it is 100 units. So, this value in monetary terms or in the value, in the terms of some value, this term will be the cardinal concept, which means that now you have made utility measurable concept but then there is something known as ordinal concept now what does this ordinal concept means of course it will be different from the cardinal concept which said that utility is quite measurable or quantifiable the ordinal concept given by Hicks and Allen another uh, couple of economists said that no utility cannot be measured it is not a measurable concept then what is utility how can you measure satisfaction 
how can you measure the level of satisfaction that you receive by either purchasing a commodity, either purchasing, you know, uh, a Louis Vuitton bag or a, after purchasing any other commodity that you love or that you like the most. So how will you measure that kind of satisfaction? So Hicks and Allen suggested that apart from this cardinal concept which says that utility is measurable or quantifiable, they say that in ordinal concept utility is not measurable. It means that the satisfaction level can only be compared to um, either you can say that I am highly satisfied or you can say that I am not that satisfied from this commodity which I was earlier which means you are comparing, you are ranking between the satisfaction levels and that is how you deal with utility concept or utility analysis in the ordinal concept. So let's give another example to ordinal concept. For example, you go to purchase car. Now car is a big deal and that's why you'll do your market research, you'll get the information, you'll get the quotes for different uh, um, kinds of cars. Now for example, you settle to two brands or say two types of cars which come into the same range and they are of different brands, uh, different uh, manufacturers. So now how will you determine that what kind of car will give you maximum utility? For example, your basic need for purchasing that car or your basic motive of purchasing that car is that it should be spacious, it should be reasonable according to the budget and it should have various other you know, accessories, qualities, uh, enhancement uh, which a very good, not, not a high-end car but like a very good car, an average good car. Now you shortlist two cars which come into the range, which are quite, which you can afford, which are reasonably put at good prices and so how will you shortlist and how will you say that one car will be, will be giving me more utility than the other. So then you think that okay the car A gives me 1100 cc and fine average and car B with the same price with the same you know accessories with the same enhancement model it gives me 800 cc great average so then you think that alright both the cars are equally spacious and reasonable and you can afford each one of it and that is why the only point of difference would be the average that the car would give and probably because of the higher average that the car B will, in, is giving to you, you might choose that car. Now remember the concept that we already have learned in the previous video which is trade off. You have a matter of choice. You are choosing between car A and car B. So you are facing a trade off over here too. Now coming back to the utility concept, you are saying that because car B is giving me a good average, that's why I will choose car B. And that is why car B will give me more amount of utility than car A. Utility is of course satisfaction. Utility is satisfaction. So, now we know that in utility analysis, utility means satisfaction or the want that a human has, that has to be satisfied. So, the want satisfying power in a commodity will give certain amount of utility to the consumer and utility analysis can be divided into cardinal concept as well as ordinal concept. Cardinal concept was given by Alfred Marshall who said that utility is measurable or quantifiable and on the other hand ordinal concept was given by J.R. Hicks and G.R.D. Allen who said that no 
utility cannot be measured but utility can only be compared it can only be ranked and it can only be said that this satisfaction level is higher or lower than this satisfaction level and this is how we would sum up the utility analysis and the difference between the cardinal and ordinal concept in the next videos we will come up with more such terms and more such concepts regarding the utility analysis for now like subscribe and share our channel if you have any suggestions please put it in the comment box below thank you cheer up economics is now free and easy bye bye